Imagine you come home after a long day at work, tired and beat up from the day that's passed. You take a hot shower and relax in front of the TV and turn on a film, an old film, maybe a slasher from back in the day, featuring Michael Myers or Freddy Krueger. You watch as the killer stalks his victims and kills them one at a time. It's scary, but it only happens in films, right? What a lot of people don't know is that South Africa has its own lineup of similar serial killers. People who have racked up body counts in your own town and maybe in your own backyard. I drop new videos every week, so please subscribe for more, and if you have any suggestions or criticism, please leave it in the comments down below. Moses Atole was born in 1964 in the Transvaal province. Having a troubled childhood, he eventually ended up in an orphanage, where he said he was mistreated. In his teens, he was arrested for rape and spent seven years in prison. He claims that this was a false charge, and would later say that this event was what turned him into a murderer. Satole, by all accounts, appeared to be a mild-mannered man who managed a shell corporation, Youth Against Human Abuse, which was devoted to the eradication of child abuse. It was at this time that the murders began. Satole targeted black women between the ages of 18 and 45. Most of his victims were led to believe they had an interview for a position in the organization he ran. He would take them to remote fields, where he would beat, rape, and then murder them. They were generally strangled with their own underwear until they were dead. The murders began in Atteridgeville and soon after moved to Boxburg. The last murders took place in Cleveland. The media had dubbed him the ABC killer. After he had killed some of his victims, he would call up their families just to taunt them. By 1995, he had claimed over 30 victims, sparking nationwide panic. Soon after, President Nelson Mandela visited Boxburg in person to appeal for public assistance in capturing the killer. In August of 1995, Satole was identified as having been seen with one of the victims and disappeared shortly after. In October, he contacted a journalist and identified himself as a wanted man. As proof, he gave directions to where one of the bodies had been left and also claimed that he had killed 76 victims twice as many as those reported. Local authorities subsequently cornered him in Johannesburg and shot him when he had attacked a constable with a hatchet. He was taken to hospital and survived. In December of 1997, Sotole was sentenced to multiple years in prison for each crime that he had committed, his total effective sentence being 2,410 years. The judge stated that had capital punishment not been abolished, he would have been sentenced to death. He is currently incarcerated in the Mangaung Correctional Center in Bloemfontein. So, the next time you watch a crazed murderer kill a pleading victim on your TV, make sure to remember that the exact same thing could be happening in your hometown, closer than you think. I release new videos every week, so if you love the paranormal, the dark, or the just unexplainable, be sure to subscribe, and if you have any comments or suggestions, leave them down below. Until next time, this is Dark Light Productions, signing off.